Hey guys, what's up? This is George for Inflation.us, and I'm reporting on um, the the uh, IOU, IOU situation in California, also the unemployment situation right now. If you guys are checking out the news, we are at a 26-year high for unemployment. This is the government statistics, 9.5 percent. I mean, to get the real statistics, look at ShadowStats.com. You know, just basically double the um, double the government statistics but 9.5 percent that's huge look at the chart everyone was hoping that it was going to be going down as you can see it's going down here then right at the end point it's dropping again so we're seeing acceleration of unemployment even using the government statistics these are numbers that aren't haven't been seen since the great depression um, we're seeing the unemployment erasing the last nine years of payroll growth that's ridiculous. That means for the last nine years, all the growth the economy generated, payroll and jobs, that's all been wiped out in this recession, the so-called recession. So if you look at this closely, guys, you're seeing these numbers are Great Depression numbers. So as I, I've heard Vision Victory talk about it, the average work week is 33 hours a week. This is just incredible. So let me tell you, I know people that are working for the state. I know people working for the government. They're getting their salaries cut 10, 20, 25 percent. You're going to see even more salary cuts, probably 30, 40. I wouldn't be surprised if they start cutting salaries by 50 percent. Also, I know people in teaching, and this is what's happening with all the new grads. You know, people have changed their entire uh, you know, career path to become teachers, to become, you know, things that they thought were going to be employable even during a recession. Well, let me tell you what's happening with teachers here in this area. I have a cousin who is a teacher. He went through all the processes of changing a career and going into teaching. You know, there's one job available in a school district. There's two jobs available, and they won't even consider him because he's a new teacher. This is how ridiculous it's getting. All the layoff pe people that have been laid off are applying for the job. All the new students coming out of like Uni University of Phoenix, the state universities, I mean, all the teachers are pouring in and they're cutting back on education. So there are no jobs for these teachers, and what do they have? They'll have 40, 50, 60, 70, 80 thousand dollars in debt, in school debt that they're going to default on. And then what happens to that, th those loans that they got from the government? In two, three, four, five years, they're going to end up owning 250,000 because all the interest and all the penalties that accu accumulate with those. So you guys, if you're looking at going back to school, everyone says, oh, well, this is a great time to go back to school. You're going to have to pay back those loans eventually. And those loans, I mean, I can't believe it. My cousin was saying, well, they've got to allow these loans to be under bankruptcy sometime in the future because it's not his fault. Don't count on that. Don't count on that the government may or may not allow your loans to be bankrupted. It's, it's ridiculous. I don't even know how to say this, but if you're going to go back to school, make sure it's in a degree that is actually going to be of use. And don't expect to have an easy street with jobs lined up all over the place. It's still going to be a fight. It's the real economy. It's time to deal with the real world. School, universities, it's fantasy world. It's not real world. And they're going to be hit just the same way these county offices are going to be hit, the state offices are going to be hit as revenue shrinks. The private sector can't pull the weight of the public sector anymore. And then real quick to get back to the IOUs, is you guys, if you guys haven't know, don't know, I'm in California. Everybody's talking about the IOUs. Every year, the California uh, state budget is held up around this time. They never pass the budget. There's always problems. Well, this time is different. Uh, if you quote, you know, this owner of a milk and egg supplier, O'Kelly, he actually supplies milk and eggs to the prisons. He's saying, I'm more worried about this current situation than all the budget situations combined. That's how bad it is. John Chang is talking about three point. 3 billion issued this month alone in IOUs. You know, they're called uh, re registered warrants. These are promises to pay by October. They're not cash, they're not money, they're not checks. They are just IOUs. And 3.3 billion of them were issued this month in addition 
11 billion were, was paid in register in a regular type of payment. So across the board in California, you're going to see these businesses, these consultants, these people that work for the state that have state contracts, you're going to see them start having to dip into their private funds and this is going to last probably until October. And they think it's going to get better. It's not going to get better. This is the steps to total economic breakdown here in California. Once again, guys, I just want to close. In California, the, the facade is alive and well. People are chugging along. They're, they're still going to their jobs. They're getting paid less and less, and they're getting less and less hours. And people are just slowly running out of money. The, the, the belt buckle is tightening slowly, but instead of the belt buckle around their waist, it's more like a belt buckle around their neck. Slowly, surely, people are being choked financially to death.